Okay, so there is a text in the biblical text, in the biblical books, which people do not understand properly because they do not wish to research because they're lazy, uh, saying that uh, the Spirit of the Lord will not uh, stay in the flesh of men or in, in men, in, in human beings uh, forever because human beings are just flesh. So therefore the life uh, extent of humanity was reduced to 120 years after the flood and then it decreased to 100 and now it's like pretty much uh, stupidity 80 or 75 and we die. Uh, just before I continue, um, I when I study the Bible, the biblical text, I'm, st I'm using electronic sword, so e-sword, which is a free uh, application which is amazing using these strong dictionaries so wherever uh, the word God is used it's not God it's Elohim and Elohim means many intelligent beings in plural actually those Elohim are the real humans and we are just created in their image we are uh, inferior humans created by superior humans and that's something that most of you do not wish to accept and that's fine i'm just telling you the truth and also the other thing i want to say so that's god the word god does not not doesn't exist it's elohim and also uh, when they speak about other things like uh, the giant trees and all that stuff you have to combine the biblical text with uh, the book of enoch and the other uh, apocryphal uh, apocryphal books the apocrypha because if not you're not going to understand so something happened in the world the atmosphere and this level earth was different before the flood the flood is the great reset which existed and even scientists are saying that it existed so that's a fact now what happened uh, we don't really know what happened but we do have the translation of Richard Lawrence in 1821 Archbishop of Cashel uh, this is the first ever translation imagine in 1821 in those days like we speak about the reset of humanity in 1800 which is like a minor reset by right? the big reset was a flood and this is the first uh, translation of the book of Enoch from the Ethiopic Ethiopian um, original text and the very first translation as far as I can understand is not um, changed to suit the interests of the Vatican and the church so the the original first trans translation of the book of Enoch by Richard Lawrence is the actual real translation with no um, stupidities uh, added there to to make you believe uh, lies and chapter 66 is the most important chapter when we speak about giants and giant trees interesting number right 66 just like uh, it makes you ask the question who actually wrote the book of Enoch in the first place because everything has to do with number six and double six and triple six it's very important uh, I'm not saying anything about satanic because mo mo the big majority of you do not understand the real meaning of Satan and satanic that's a different story we'll see that in a different video Enoch chapter 66 verse 2 says in English um, the Elohim, so those who are like, uh, you know, the God, but like the, the, the real humans, they gave commandment to the angels. And again, when I say the word angel, do not think of angel as you were indoctrinated. Angels are not those um, beings with wings and stuff. That's just the Vatican and the Catholic Church that made you think like that. We do not know what angels are. So we're just going to go by the name of angels. They can actually even be machines, to be honest, like uh, artificial intelligence. So it gave command and commandment to the angels who were going out that they should not cause the waters to rise, but should hold them in check. Uh, the waters to rise. And you remember when we speak about uh, the fact that the, the world we live in is like a uh, level and it's also a crater and uh, there's water from the oceans outside that came in like in this crater to the entrance between South America and what is now called Antarctica but it's actually if you look at the book of uh, if you look at the vibes of cosmos map it actually shows you different continents and the waters from the oceans they rise so that's how the flood actually can happen so the flood is not necessarily something that it's raining all the time which also adds to the actual water but it's also the the water that comes from the oceans outside and um, the land gets flooded by several um, hundreds or thousands of meters right and we actually know that so yeah uh, they so a commandment was given to hold the waters until the moment was there and then the Lawrence translation of the book of Enoch which is like the very first translation Enoch 66 with 2 it says now then shall the angels labor at the trees so the angels which again we do not know how an angel looks like do not imagine the angel like you are being told by the Catholic Church or like the or like the Christian Church they're not like that and labor at the trees means to cut the giant titanic trees we're going to see pictures about that and there's a like um, chapter 83 verses 3 to 7 in the book of visions which is another apocryphal book saying that high trees were rent from their stems and hurled down and sunk in the abyss so uh, they gave order those the the 
the people, the humans, the the gods for us who created us in their image, they not us because before us the humanity that died was not like us. We are just a tiny puny humanity compared to the giant humanity that was destroyed in the flood, and uh, they destroy the trees as well. Uh, the reason, and this is the tree of course, so the Devil Tower is just like the most popular example because it's like the most known example in popular culture. It's a tree, a giant tree, the trunk uh, which was left. And it was cut artificially, probably by machines. So probably the angels are actually machines used by, uh, so technology used by those um, gods that we call Elohim. Uh, and of course, people say, oh, you're just like nuts because you're just like saying it's pareidolia, right? You're just like wanting to believe uh, it's tree. Well, nobody has been able to explain why all these structures, which are everywhere in the world and also on the bottom of the ocean, have perfect hexagonal geometrical shapes. That's not something that lava flow creates. Everybody knows that, scientists know that, but scientists and people and everybody else do not wish to speak about this because it's too much for them and it causes too much... Mm, no, the truth hurts that's that's a fact but yeah the truth is they're out there so it shocks you in the face perfect geometrical hexagonal forms uh, that only happen in living beings so this was like living nature living plants living giant trees and that's not something that lava can create and we see that in nature as well we see that in crystals which are like uh, minerals in nature and we also see like in beehives uh, same stuff because they're both natural so this happens this is natural design uh, intelligent design so it's this is like what the creators created using intelligence and design and DNA and all that stuff so it's full of these uh, places you're gonna say so why were they cut down why were they were destroyed well simple because the Nephilim which were like the hybrids uh, that were created because of the sexual intercourse sexual intercourse and also um, genetic manipulation with technology between the sons of God I mean the sons of Elohim not God so those real humans they combine their DNA with the daughters of men the daughters of the mort the common mortals but not like us those common mortals were like much higher and much larger and much bigger so they cut the trees so that the nephilim who are like the hybrids for monstrosities would not be able to climb them to climb them and survive the flood because imagine like the height of these trees some of them would reach dozens of kilometers so obviously the flood would not be able to cover all these trees they cut everything so there was no escape for for, for the nephilims and for the monstrosities anymore and for the giants so they all they were all killed in the flood which is, was the big reset before the world began anew with our humanity which is like a tiny puny humanity we have between 150 meters and two meters height so that's like between five and uh, seven feet or eight feet and um, we are made our bodies are made differently and also the the forest that we have and you know that's that's like the reset of 1800 1700 1800 so then we don't know exactly when this big flood happened that's a problem with um, timing i'm still trying to find out if it happened um, in those in that period before the 1500 before the renaissance or like in those 1000 years which were added in history so it could be that the big flood actually happened quite recently like maybe um, half a millennia ago or something like that but we don't know what we do know is that um, if you read the original translation of the uh, book of Enoch by Richard Lawrence and also if you read the book of visions you will get the proof that you need uh, which is actually more detailed than the biblical text remember that the biblical texts which are official now in any bible that you can actually pick up besides the wrong translations about the word of god that does not exist and other like really really messed up translations they also took away this whole thing with the trees uh, and they're actually doing some metaphors there and they took away lots of texts regarding the trees and genesis is, uh, is actually very incomplete that's why they took out all these texts which are called the apoc uh, apocrypha the apocryphal texts because they give you lots of insight of the, on the truth and this truth regarding these beautiful amazing i mean if i show I actually made videos about the trees devil tower is like tiny puny compared to other trees it's like a top 10 list of huge tremendous trees that um were cut down and this is a, a one of the major truths so uh, the level earth which before like people would say flat i like to say level is not the uh, it's like the biggest truth but it's not the only truth and this other truth is like the big giant trees which are connected to the reset to the, to the pure huge reset of humanity and that humanity was the giants and the nephilims which were created because of the sexual intercourse and the genetic manipulation and uh, our creators the elohim as well they 
are probably giants, very, very big and very huge. And that's something that the big majority of humanity today would never accept because humanity has been indoctrinated to accept a, a godly figure of a father with beard sitting on a throne and he sent his son to die for our sins. That's how, what humanity likes to believe because that, that's what makes them feel happy. Hey, if that, if that makes you feel happy, then I'm, 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 for, for me it's the same. So as long as you're happy and you can live your uh, common mortal life uh, without uh, disturbing anybody else and uh, doing your, your thing, uh, as long as you can live in this short life of 50 to 70 years, then who cares, right? But yeah, that's just a fact. So of course, there's much more intelligent people out there who know more about these things, but just so you know, that's like an introduction, so you know that the giant trees exist, they have all the proofs, and now you have the texts where you can actually read uh, Book of Enoch chapter 66 and Book of Visions chapter 83. So I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.